and all that stuff. I passed my algebra quiz. I rely on that class. I'm just glad I got this degree. I want to do a better job and have a better life someplace else. Hold on, Bill. Somebody's at the door. Somebody playing a prank or something. There's nobody at the door. <laughs> Not me. Oh. And somebody out there. This neighborhood wasn't exactly the best place to be when I first moved in. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> Some punk ass kid around here playing a prank or something. I mean, the thing is, I've been here like two years and nothing's going, been going on really other than the random gunshots. I don't know, if it keeps up, I'm gonna call the cops. Hey, Bill, I'll talk to you later, okay?
Gone by night. Okay. Man. <laughs> I'll get it out of here for a while. <laughs> This is fucking driving me nuts. something else.
you! Fuck all you motherfuckers messing with me! home. Hear me? Leave me alone. came back from vacation over in Arkansas. You know, everything was alright when I came back, and that night weird shit started happening. See, first there was a knocking at the door, and then <clears throat> sat down, and I started hearing knocking footsteps on the ceiling, right? So I'm like, what the hell's going on? You know, it's like, okay? Then the lights started flickering, and then all of a sudden I saw this huge bright light appear out of nowhere. And then there was these, like, these glowing balls of light that, and this weird, eerie wind. And it's like it was talking to me, but I couldn't really tell what was going on. 
You sure you weren't imagining it? Well, you know, I kind of thought maybe I was at first, but... You know, I was wide awake. You know? Because I could feel chill in the air, and, and... You know, I damn sure felt it when I... When the light stopped, went away, I, something shoved me on the bed and a couple times and I got back up and then it just kind of went away. I never, you know, but the whole time I was there, I, I felt like there was something in there with me, you know? Something creepy. So I just kind of sat there all night with a blanket wrapped around me. And, then, and the next morning, the things started getting creepy. You know, I got up, I went to sit down in the kitchen, and I was just fooling around with a pepper shaker, right? <laughs> Listen, the damn thing starts moving across the table yeah. by itself. <laughs> that sounds kind of messed up, but it's weird. That's what happened, you know, that's not the worst of it, man. You know, I, I got up, right, and I said, man, I gotta get out of here for a while. It's just driving me nuts. I turned on the door, I can't open the fucking door. It's like something is holding the door shut, and all of a sudden, this this apparition appears, right? And the motherfucker looks like me. And I'm like, who are you? What do you want? And it looks at me like... And then it actually spoke to me. It said, I'm you. Or am I something else? Then it says, bye-bye. And vanishes. And I'm like... You know, I was moving... Real quick, I, I unlocked that door real slow, looking around. I get the fuck out, man. I didn't come back to that either. I came back, the fucking door was open. I know I didn't lock it right, but I know I shut the damn door. I couldn't know my furniture was all over the place. My bed was knocked off. Uh, I'm like, what the hell? Pictures were twisted sideways. I don't know what the hell's going on, man. What does it sound like to you? Someone else coming to your house from the your place. Or two, one of them two things. Or two. What else do you think it could be? <laughs> I mean, I, I, mean, I believe in God mm -hmm. and everything. I, I believe in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Why would something like, you know, Oh man, this shit's just fucking freaking me out. You know, really, it is. I don't know, man. I don't know I appreciate you letting me stay here for the last couple of days. And, you know, I don't know. One of the clothes I've got, or, you know, just that one I was wearing, and maybe this and another shirt, you know, in my back seat. That's it, man. I gotta get some clean clothes, but I don't want to go back to that motherfucking place. You know? I don't know. This is crazy. It's something out of a freaking horror movie or something, or some sort of psychedelic trip or something. I mean, I don't do drugs or anything, yeah. but it's just it's freaky, man. Hmm. You can stay over as long as you need to, whatever this, you know, blows over and, yeah. yeah. I appreciate it, man. Do it. Sure. Yeah. Well, I guess I better get some sleep, man. Yep. You know, I gotta get up work tomorrow. <laughs> yep. Gotta do that. You don't get to sleep, you won't have won't be <laughs> able to work. Yeah. It'll be totally, totally useless. Maybe I, can, maybe I can put this out of my mind for the night, try to get some rest. Yep. Yep. I'll, I'll, see, you, I'll see you in the morning, man. All right, see you in the morning. Excellent. You betcha. In the Madrid Fury, it's Spirito Santi. Yes, Lord? What? Where is he? Where is he, Lord? Yes, his father. 
I understand. Journal entry, March 7th, 2011. Well, I've been back in my apartment four days now and nothing's happened. Hopefully maybe whatever it was that broke into this world and was plaguing my apartment and myself has decided that there are other places to be. All I know is I'm enjoying the serenity that I have missed in this place. Hopefully it will remain from now on. Actually, yes, yes, I do. Okay, um, how about it? You're just the person I'm looking for. What do you mean? I'll explain later. Well, you know, it, it just started a few days ago. I was just, you know, enjoying coming back from my vacation, talking to a friend on the phone, and I started hearing this, this knocking at the door, right? I said, oh, I said, oh, you know, hey, hold on, I'll go check and see what's going on. So I go knock on the door, answer the door, and nobody's there. I'm like, I got some kids playing a prank or something. So I go back, talk to them, someone knocks again. Same thing, I'm like, crap, what's going on? You know, I think everything's okay, I go back to the bedroom, and... Any other occurrences besides this one? No, everything's been quiet except for the random, you know, gunshots or whatever goes on in this neighborhood. Other than that, it's been pretty peaceful. It got really weird, you know, because br that bright light appeared, and suddenly there were these two small balls of light that were moving around, just floating all over the place, and I could hear voices, you know, like they were trying to talk to me, but there was nobody there. I mean, not that I could see anyway, it was just freaky, you know, and Suddenly, as it started, it just vanished. I'm like, what the hell? And then suddenly it got really, really cold in the room. And suddenly, something shoved me on the bed twice. And I'm like, who's in here? No, no one's in the outside. Here. Why do we have to leave so suddenly? There was a very strange disturbance in your apartment. Okay. Do you have a library anywhere around here? 
Yeah, we've got one downtown by the house. Gotta have faith, right? Actually, yes, there is a ritual that we can perform, but we are going to require a couple of items. Okay. What kind of stuff do you need? This is what I found a little odd. Soil and water. Okay. Think we can do this? It's worth a shot. The only thing we can do besides, you know, performing an exorcism. Well, let's go for it. So, why do we have to do this here? It's very important to remember to get soil from the place of the occurrence of the event. Okay. Yeah, the spiritual energy is tied to this place. Oh, kind of like an anchor or something like that? Yes, I guess you could think of it that way. Hmm. So, I mean, for a variety of reasons. I mean, uh, the spirit could have died here, so there is a physical and spiritual attachment to oh. such a place. So, any other soil would work. It's kind of like a familiar toy that you lose and you're like... <laughs> I don't want to mess up any of your floors, so we're going to do this on the kitchen table. All right. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to recite an ancient incantation. Okay. And basically, I'm going to spread the dirt, the water, and I'm going to recite the incantation. Please do not be afraid of anything happening. This okay. is the Holy Spirit of God driving the evil spirit away from this place. Okay. Okay. Cool. We need to start by removing some of this stuff off the table. Oh. Okay. Next, I'm going to empty the soil onto the table. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to pour the water. I'm going to hold the rosary over. Okay. Now, understand that there is going to be some stuff that is going to happen. I'm not sure what. It's always different. Okay. I do not need you to be afraid. All right. It is just the work of God. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you have a bottle of water anywhere? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right here. Okay. Jesus, is Domini Christi et Crucio, Nos Ate 